Okay, got a 2010 Kia Soul. Removing the door panel to check a, uh, a keyless entry remote actuator, which is inside the door panel. Um, so before you pop the door off, there's going to be a few screw access holes you have to pop. There's one right there. And just pop it open with a tiny screwdriver. You can see the Phillips screw underneath. There are what, three on the door or two on the door? Two on the door. See the little Phillips screw? And there's a Ah, I just dropped it. There you go. <laughs> this little cap is just popped over top of the screw, and that cap will pop off a little screwdriver. There's two there. And the third one is underneath the door handle. And you just use a tiny screwdriver and pop that open. I can't see it because I'm not looking at it, I'm looking at the camera. Okay, we'll just take those four Phillips screws out and be back in a minute. Sorry, on the outside of the door jam, there's one more of those little Phillips screw caps. That's what it looks like with the little cap popped on. It just needs to be popped off, so there's five Phillips screws all together. And uh, I'm going to pull that out back in a second. Now that all the screws are out, I'm going to take a trim, door trim popper. It's just a, but you can use a flat-headed screwdriver if you do. Just wrap the end in electrical tape or something so you don't mar the paint on the bottom. You can stick it in between the door panel and the door. And basically pry the door panel off toward you. There you go. There's little poppers underneath. They're just little pressed in little plastic clips. One big pop and the bottom one went. It did. And just grab it by the handle and you should be able to lift it out. I've got to take the side cover off. I think the little mirror cover just pops. It should. Yeah. I'm taking this mirror cover off before, so I'm not sure how it pops out of there. Yeah. Straight, hopefully. Okay, straight off. The screw that we took out of the door handle, you can pull that whole door handle surround out. And now we should be able to lift. Straight up, what you're doing is lifting over this lip here at the end where the plastic goes over. Don't force it if it's not wanting to go. There we go. And there should be a couple electrical connections down there. There's a connector right there, the white one that has to be unplugged. And there's a door module in here I need to get to, but I'm only showing how to take the door panel off. If uh, I find anything else that's neat or weird, I'll let you know. But uh, that's how to remove the door panel, and obviously you have your speaker there and everything. If you're not comfortable doing it with the power on, <laughs> turn the car off. Um, anyway, thanks for watching.